In navigation, bearing is the horizontal angle between the direction of an object and another object, or between it and that of true north. Absolute bearing refers to the angle between the magnetic north magnetic bearing or true north true bearing and an object. For example, an object to the east would have an absolute bearing of 90 degrees. Relative bearing refers to the angle between the craft's forward direction and the location of another object. For example, an object relative bearing of 0 degrees would be dead ahead, an object relative bearing 180 degrees would be behind. Bearings can be measured in mils or degrees. Topic: Some specific usages. Topic: U.S. Army definition. The U.S. Army defines the bearing from point A to point B as the angle between a ray in the direction of north or south, whose origin is point A, and ray AB, the ray whose origin is point A and which contains point B. The bearing consists of two characters and one number, first, the character is either N or S next as the angle value. Third, the character representing the direction of the angle away from the reference ray, thus, either E, or W the angle value will always be less than 90 degrees. For example, if point B is located exactly southeast of point A, the bearing from point A to point B is S45 degrees east. The U.S. Army defines the azimuth between point A and point B as the angle, measured in the clockwise direction, between the north reference ray and ray AB. For example, if the bearing between point A and point B is S45 degrees degrees east, the azimuth between point A and point B is 135 degrees. The angle value in a bearing can be specified in the units of degrees, mils, or grad. An azimuth is specified in the same angle units. General examples. Piloting A bearing can be taken on another vessel to aid piloting. If the two vessels are traveling towards each other and the relative bearing remains the same over time, there is likelihood of collision and action needs to be taken by one or both vessels to prevent this from happening. Topic: Warfare. A bearing can be taken to a fixed or moving object in order to target it with gunfire or missiles. This is mainly used by ground troops when planning on using an air strike on the target. Topic: Search and rescue. A bearing can be taken to a person or vessel in distress in order to go to their aid. Other terminology sometimes used Types of bearings include Compass bearings Grid bearings Magnetic bearings Relative bearings 
True bearings a true bearing is measured in relation to the fixed horizontal reference plane of true north, that is, using the direction toward the geographic north pole as a reference point, while a magnetic bearing is measured in relation to magnetic north, that is in relation to the north direction of the Earth's magnetic field lines at the given location. The latter is not the same as the direction toward the magnetic north pole due to magnetic anomalies. A grid bearing is measured in relation to the fixed horizontal reference plane of grid north, that is, using the direction northwards along the grid lines of the map projection as a reference point, while a compass bearing, as in vehicle or marine navigation, is measured in relation to the magnetic compass of the navigator's vehicle or vessel if aboard ship. It should be very close to the magnetic bearing. The difference between a magnetic bearing and a compass bearing is the deviation caused to the compass by ferrous metals and local magnetic fields generated by any variety of vehicle or shipboard sources steel vehicle bodies, frames or vessel hulls, ignition systems, etc. A relative bearing is one in which the reference direction is straight ahead, where the bearing is measured relative to the direction the navigator is facing on land or in relation to the vessel's bow aboard ship. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Bearing measurement. There are several methods used to measure navigation bearings including In land navigation, a bearing is ordinarily calculated in a clockwise direction starting from a reference direction of 0 degrees and increasing to 359.9 degrees. Measured in this way, a bearing is referred to as an azimuth by the U.S. Army but not by armies in other English-speaking nations, which use the term bearing. If the reference direction is north either true north, magnetic north, or grid north, the bearing is termed an absolute bearing. In a contemporary land navigation context, true, magnetic, and grid bearings are always measured in this way, with true north, magnetic north, or grid north being zero degrees in a 360-degree system. In aircraft navigation, an angle is normally measured from the aircraft's track or heading, in a clockwise direction. If the aircraft encounters a target that is not ahead of the aircraft and not on an identical track, then the angular bearing to that target is called a relative bearing. In marine navigation, starboard bearings are green and port bearings are red. Thus, in ship navigation, a target directly off the starboard side would be green 090 or G090. This method is only used for a relative bearing. A navigator on watch does not always have a corrected compass available with which to give an accurate bearing. If available, the bearing might not be numerate. Therefore, every 45 degrees of direction from north on the compass was divided into four points. Thus, 32 points of 11.25 degrees each makes a circle of 360 degrees. An object at 022.5 degrees relative would be two points off the starboard bow, an object at 101.25 degrees relative would be one point abaft the starboard beam, and an object at 213.75 degrees relative would be three points on the port quarter. This method is only used for a relative bearing. An informal method of measuring a relative bearing is by using the clock method. 
In this method, the direction of vessel, aircraft or object is measured as if a clock face is laid over the vessel or aircraft, with the number 12 pointing forward. Something straight ahead is at 12 o'clock, while something directly off to the right is at 3 o'clock. This method is only used for a relative bearing. In land surveying, a bearing is the clockwise or counterclockwise angle between north or south and a direction. For example, bearings are recorded as N57 degrees east, S51 degrees east, S21 degrees west, N87 degrees west, or N15 degrees west. In surveying, bearings can be referenced to true north, magnetic north, grid north the y-axis of a map projection, or a previous map, which is often a historical magnetic north. Usage If navigating by gyro compass, the reference direction is true north, in which case the terms true bearing and geodetic bearing are used. In stellar navigation, the reference direction is that of the North Star, Polaris. Generalizing this to two angular dimensions, a bearing is the combination of antenna azimuth and elevation required to point aim an antenna in a given direction. The bearing for geostationary satellites is constant. The bearing for polar orbiting satellites varies continuously. Moving from A to B along a great circle can be considered as always going in the same direction the direction of B, but not in the sense of keeping the same bearing, which applies when following a rum line. Accordingly, the direction at A of B, expressed as a bearing, is not in general the opposite of the direction at B of A when traveling on the great circle formed by A and B. For example, assume A and B in the northern hemisphere have the same latitude, and at A the direction to B is east-northeast. Then going from A to B, one arrives at B with the direction east-southeast, and conversely, the direction at B of A is west-northwest. Bearings can also be transmitted into NNE north northeast NNNE north north northeast and ENNE east north northeast. See also Absolute bearing Cardinal direction Constant bearing, decreasing range Course navigation Flight dynamics fixed -wing aircraft Ground track Hand compass Relative bearing equals equals notes